I don't go out of my way to be negative. I mean, it still happens. A lot. More often than I'd be comfortable admitting. I consider myself to be an amiable, approachable, strapping young lad whose approach to criticism reflects a thoughtful, reasonable desire to experience and cast level-headed judgment on works of artistic merit with a certain degree of professionalism and class. But goddammit, 2016 really fucking sucks for movies. Case in point, Suicide Squad, the DC Comics response to the onset of snappy, anti-hero-driven comic book adaptations that aims for the likes of Guardians of the Galaxy, but lands closer to the garbage pail kids. Now it's been brought to my attention, as I'm sure it's been brought to everyone's, that the paddle in this movie's received has been met with some controversy. So at the risk of turning this into Ghostbusters again, allow me to be perfectly fucking clear. Suicide Squad is an awful movie. It is the cinematic equivalent of a segmentation fault, an unmitigated, soul-crushing disaster from top to bottom. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury signifying nothing. It's technically, poetically, and fundamentally inept at pretty much every single turn. The script was terrible, and since there's a finite number of ways to say that a movie just isn't funny, I'll leave it at that. Not that it doesn't try, in fact, Suicide Squad's humor is at its most unbearable when it is trying, shitting out desperate YA novel punchlines at the end of almost every scene like fucking clockwork. The screenplay was even worse. This movie does not have an act structure. 75% of this film is one scene plottingly forced into nearly two hours of movie, while the remaining 25% percent is flashbacks. I honestly thought the projectionist had somehow started the movie in reverse when the villainous twist that should logically have occurred to transition an emotional second act into a climactic third occurs 10 minutes in, leaving our generic uncharacterized antagonist to spend 90 minutes doing nothing except standing around wrapped in CGI gangrene waiting for the heroes to show up. Speaking of our heroes, the characters are so poorly written that they are completely incomprehensible. Motivations clash, priorities are jumbled, and backstories are overwritten by other backstories. Harley Quinn gets like a dozen character flashbacks, whereas some of the other characters don't even get introduced. Captain Boomerang has no motivation and no backstory. Killer Croc has no motivation, no backstory, and no logical reason to even be in this fucking movie. Even with the absurd number of flashbacks padding out the runtime to just over two hours, it still feels like there's shit missing from this movie. The vast majority of the character development occurs either off screen or crammed into the five minute stretch at the end of the climax. The acting definitely didn't help. Margot Robbie couldn't decide on what accent she wanted to use, so she jumped back and forth from Boston to New York to Canada to a terrible impression of Scarlett Johansson from Hail Caesar. Jai Courtney, while not as bad as everyone else for once, had the most inconsistent Australian accent I'd ever heard. Joel Kinnaman sounded like he was sleepwalking the whole time. Jared Leto as the Joker was only in the movie for about eight minutes, and he still managed to be the worst performance out of all of them. Will Smith was honestly the best part of this movie, and out of the top ten conclusions I did not expect to reach, that was probably number six. At a technical level, this movie was a fucking train wreck. Zack Snyder isn't credited in the film, but his greasy, low-contrast fingerprints are all over it. Most of the action scenes are too dark to tell what the fuck is going on, which is still obnoxious even if, like me, you stopped giving a shit what happens after about the first hour. Past the horrible screenplay, Suicide Squad can't even avoid the most rudimentary of editorial mistakes. For the first hour, you can't go five minutes without some poorly mixed licensed music drowning out all the characters' conversations. Characters frequently have the ends of their sentences cut off. El Diablo family goes from speaking Spanish to English between flashbacks. Certain flashbacks have awful post-production filters that are used one time and never again. On-screen text appears in the same color as the footage behind it, and there are fucking typos in the subtitles. Narrative flashbacks occur in seemingly random order and are spaced out so far apart that 15 minutes from the end of the movie we're still being fed exposition. And while we're here, I'd like to make a public service announcement. There is no good reason ever for a movie to flashback to a scene that has already occurred in the movie. One more thing, normally I avoid spoilers in these reviews because, you know, common human decency and all, and while this technically isn't a spoiler, it's about as close as you can get, but I really feel the need to address it because it was really fucking stupid. If conventional explosives are enough to kill our supposedly demigod level bad guys, what was the need for the Suicide Squad? What was preventing the US military from just carpet bombing the place? This movie has no point. It it wouldn't be unreasonable to assume that the extensive rewrites and reshoots are responsible for Suicide Squad's abysmal quality, but by projection of that logic, requiring extensive rewrites and reshoots means the movie probably wasn't going to be any good in the first place. Perhaps the suits at DC Comics didn't understand the irony of creating a focus-tested, homogenized, 80-20 airtight version of a product whose main characters are designed to exhibit anarchic, post-punk, hot-topic sensibilities when the propensity of the target audience, a group consisting of angsty teenagers with the exact same anarchic, post-punk, hot-topic sensibilities 
sensibilities, to spend their money on said product increases relative to the amount of tattoos and hair dye presented on said product. So yeah, perhaps the success of Suicide Squad was inevitable, but that doesn't mean you don't have to fucking try. I'm officially declaring it. 2016 is now the year of the Hydra. For every shit movie I watch, two more pop up in its place. This time it's Suicide Squad and a movie where Kevin Spacey is a goddamn talking cat, and that is just about too fucking much. Suicide Squad isn't just the kind of bad that gets me down on superhero movies, it's the kind of bad that gets me down on movies in general. So you hear that, Doctor Strange? This is your last chance. This camel's back can only support so much straw, and if I have to sit through another sinkhole like this, it just might break. <laughs>